right now let's look at question number 12 part b of the applied paper so this is the circular motion question so we are given vertical cross section perpendicular to the horizontal axis a fixed hollow right circular cylinder with radius a and smooth inner surface no so there is no friction point o is the center a and b are the ends of the diameter horizontal diameter particle p of mass m is projected vertically downward direction from a with speed u and let v be the speed of p when op has turned through an angle of theta with p in contact with the cylinder and we need to first show this v squared is equal to u squared plus 2ag sine theta right okay so let's just draw this again and mark all the forces right. right so here the speed is v right this angle is theta then what are the forces uh, weight mg and the reaction force towards the center r right Then this angle is theta. So this angle is ninety minus theta. Right. Okay. Right. so now let's see what do we want to show first we want to show this one v squared is equal to u squared plus 2ag sine theta so for this we will use conservation of mechanical energy so let's say this length is h uh, and let's take uh, this level has potential energy zero right so then we'll use conservation of mechanical energy to show that v squared is equal to u squared plus 2ag sine theta right so then we are going to consider energy at a and energy at p those have to be equal so energy at a is what energy at a you have kinetic energy half m u squared uh, how much is the potential energy potential energy is zero because this is potential energy zero level so that is all we have at a then at p we have velocity v so half mv squared and what is h to find potential energy we need to know h right from the triangle this right triangle we know this is radius a 
then h is equal to a sin theta h is equal to a sin theta then potential energy is mg now we are going down so potential energy zero is this level so this is going to be negative so minus h o minus a sin theta right now just simplify it into the form you are asked to show so cancel m multiply by 2 so u squared is equal to v squared minus 2 a g sin theta so now just uh, do what now uh, subject v squared v squared is equal to u squared plus 2 a g sin theta right so that part is done then the second part is what it is given p leaves the inner surface of the cylinder when theta is equal to 7 pi over 6 then show that u is equal to this value right okay so let's say this is equation one so now when p leaves the inner surface what happens to r r becomes zero the reaction between the particle and the cylinder surface becomes zero when it leaves the surface or the cylinder surface right so then for this general position we will apply f equals ma towards the center or radially apply f equals ma to the particle radially so that is towards o then what are the forces acting on that r reaction force and mg cos 90 minus theta that is in the opposite direction so minus minus mg cos 90 minus theta equals m a acceleration is what towards the center acceleration is going to be v squared over r so v squared over r r is what in this question radius is uh, radius is a so that means r is a so that is the acceleration now let's simplify r we will subject r r is going to be mg cos 90 minus theta is sin theta mg sin theta plus m over a v squared this is 2 then from 1 sub uh, substitute this one v squared is equal to what u squared plus 2 a g sin theta so sub 1 into 2 so we we'll get r is equal to mg sin theta plus m over a u squared plus 2ag sin theta right now we know what now we use this condition p leaves the inner surface when theta is this value when it leaves the inner surface condition is r is zero there is no reaction 
there's not going to be any contact force no? so that means r becomes zero so r becomes zero when theta is 7 pi over 6 so apply those values into this equation so r is zero mg sine 7 pi over 6 this one just simplify m a u squared plus 2 a g sine 7 pi over 6 All right now you can just simplify this m cancels and let me work this out here sine 7 pi over 6 is sine pi plus pi over 6 so this is in third quadrant so then negative sine is negative sine negative sine pi over 6 so sine pi over 6 is half so this is negative half so this is equal to negative half this is equal to negative half so then simplify this becomes negative half g uh, this is 1 over a so u squared a minus uh, this becomes minus g no minus g a g and a cancels so minus g then simplify this becomes uh, u squared over a is equal to 3 over 2 g then u squared is equal to 3 over 2 a g then u is equal to square root of 3 over 2 a g so yeah so that is what we want to show right so that is the answer for the question number 12 part b right next we will do question number 13 simple harmonic motion question